Good morning. Thank you for joining me for Devos with Carly. I'm Carly. Grab your Bibles. We're going to do some Devos this morning. And as always, we are looking through this book called How Great Is Our God? And today, we're going to be talking about the stars, the stars in outer space. So there's this one star called Arcturus, and it's 37 light years away from Earth. It's a red giant star nearly 25 times the size of our sun. Wow, that's really big. It shines 115 times more light than our sun. That's really bright. You might even be able to see it when you look out your window, it's that big. As it slowly burns its outer layers, it's being changed into a smaller white dwarf star. Did you know that stars could change like that? So they start out as a giant red star, or it's called a red giant, and they change and they get smaller and they become white dwarf stars. Now if God can change a star that is 25 times bigger than our sun, our sun which holds over 1 million Earths inside of it, that's how big it is. Imagine what he can do with you. In turning your Bibles to Philippians chapter 2 verse 13, and in Philippians 2 verse 13 it says, God is working in you. He wants your plans and your acts to fulfill his good purpose. So the Bible says that God is working in you and through you. And if God can change a star that is that big in our universe, imagine what he can do with your heart. And the change that God is working inside of you is even more amazing than what he does with those stars in outer space. You see, God is like a potter and we're kind of like his lump of clay. Every day he's shaping and changing you and he's using things like his word in the Bible. He's using people around you and he's using different events in your life to, to teach you how to live and how to do what pleases him. Things like doing the right thing, being brave, having peace, making the wise choice, putting others needs before your own. God is changing you to be like Jesus, and that's the greatest change of all. So let's read Philippians chapter 2, verse 13 once more. It says, God is working in you. He wants your plans and your acts to fulfill his good purpose. Now, we just talked on Sunday about how God wants us to put others first, and that can be really hard. But when we read a verse like that, we can be encouraged that he's working in us and he's using everything around us to help teach us how to be more like his son, Jesus. And with his help, you can do those things because God says that with him, all things are possible. So I'm gonna pray for you right now. We're gonna pray that God would work in us and through us and help us to do what's right and to make the wise choice and to put others first. Let's pray. Dear Lord, change isn't always easy or fun, but we trust you to change us and make us more like your son, Jesus. Help us to notice when you're teaching and shaping us and help us to make the wise choice. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to put up the 30 second timer and I want you to spend some time talking to God and I want you to just tell him what you find difficult about some of the things he asks you to do in his word and I want you to ask him for his help in being more like Jesus and doing the right thing.